we are your casuals. <laughs> Did we fail in getting what we needed? Yesterday? Yes. Nope. In fact, I have a completed I have a completed Warrior Runes discussion video. Um, I did find something interesting out, though, while I was editing that video. Um, apparently, when we filmed the video, um, not the video, when we filmed the, you know, the green screen backdrop that I have running behind uh, behind our recordings? Sam yes. is down here. Uh, if you turn on your camera, it'll plop you into the video. I'm just saying we started recording. I'm just saying that if you plop, if you turn on your video, it'll plop you into the video. Um, <clears throat> so apparently... When I was recording that that video backdrop, I must have had my mic input going because you can hear in the video recorded yesterday, faintly in the background, me and Sam discussing like cord and light placement. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to rearrange this. I'm going to kick Craig out of the video. Bye, Craig. And Sam is going to turn her camera on. Hi, Sam. And now we have Sam instead of Craig. I still have Craig. Hi, Sam, instead of Craig. I still have Craig. I don't. I have Sam. Oh, I have to turn mine off, too. Show non-video participants. Click off. All right. Now I probably should, have something similar. We should make a goal for next video, or for next podcast slash recording. Um, mm -hmm. Set Sam up with a proper camera. And maybe a microphone. I can't hear a word she's saying. Yeah, she, she, her microphone was nowhere near her face. Say something, Sam. Hi. Say Hi. something uh, in normal volume. Hi. There we go. So, yeah, because we've got we've got Al and me sitting here in like crisp high definition video. Why is that menu still there? We've got oh. me and Al sitting here in crisp high definition video, and we've got Sam. Looking like she's joining us from the year 2002. Why is oh. she covering part of her camera? I'm going to use my phone. Oh, neat. Can you now, you're going to need to like set up IV cam or something. Why don't we do it for next time? Although you, you do look, you do look better in high definition than you do grainy. Just saying. Do you have IV cam on your computer? Did I already download it? I have that one. Droid cam? Oh, try using that. I have droid cam. That. Now, I think, so we we're talking about my video, how I'm letterboxed instead of widescreen. Yes, which I, I don't know why. I think it's because I didn't pay for droid cam. If I paid for droid cam, I can go widescreen. Oh, see, I paid for IV cam. So I get the, I get the high definition with no watermark. And et cetera, et cetera. Do I have a watermark? I don't have a watermark. Okay, what does this mean? I don't know. That's why I gave it to you. Do you have a better look at my place now? It looks uh, a little more reveal. I've changed things around a bit. Is this front? No, that's front. Do you want front? Hold on. I'll listen to you in a second. Um, yeah. Why is it not showing? I have a ring light on, too. So open up droid See, camera. Running on my hand. I don't have it on my hand. Oh, it needs to be on your computer, I think. Yes. Yes. You have to turn it on on both. I forget which order, though. Do you not have it set up on there? No. It shouldn't matter what order. You should I be have able to OBS just... Studio. You need droid cam. Droid cam. Okay, so we'll do it for next week. Yeah, we'll do it for next week. I'll have to set it up. <clears throat> It actually might be better if you use something other than IV cam because I wonder if they would conflict because we're on the same Wi-Fi network. I wonder if it would try to cross contaminate. I don't know, but if we record with Al in a different room like right now, mm -hmm. you should set your camera up so it's like in front of me. Why? And then I can be beside you so I could have a cool background instead of that dumb floating thing. Well, then move over here. I well, can't. You... I'll be... In your picture, do you oh, have right. a do you have a picture of something you want? Because you have a green screen behind you. I don't you know. Just, it's always the same moving background. It doesn't change. I'm just saying. You guys have like cool backgrounds. Um, it's, mine's a wall. 
Yeah, his is a wall. So Mine is, is Josh's. Also a wall. They're walls with things on them. Well, how about how about we? I will I will set something nice up for you for next week. Should I click this button? <laughs> Did you not start recording? Yes, we're now recording video. That was the podcast preamble. Now we're recording video. I don't know. Al's recording the video anyways. Do, are, are you not going to use the one I'm doing? Because if you're not, I don't need to have it open. I like to have both maybe and see if it was like... <clears throat> Okay. So just to see what options I have, because I'm thinking of changing the format at which I post the videos. I might post the podcast in full, but I won't do any edits to it. But then I might break it down and do a bunch of smaller chunks. So if there's parts of our podcast that you really think stand out, smaller portions of conversation, I can make five to 10 minute videos instead of a two hour video. We may be able to get a little more traffic and a little more interest. And I'll put a link to the actual podcast in every single one. So I can't thinking- say I can't say I feel like any segments of any of our episodes really stand out necessarily. Okay, but if we've we done anything it, of note yet, <clears throat> if we segment it into smaller videos, if we say something that you think is awesome, just point it out when you're editing. I'll try and keep a track when I'm editing as well, because I will pull it into smaller videos. Which, like I said, I think it's going to bring a lot more traffic, especially yep. because we'll actually be posting a lot more. Sounds good. So. Uh, <clears throat> My throat is bothering me today, so yeah, we should we should start bothering me too. My throat's bothering you, or your throat's bothering you? No, your throat was bothering me because you're making a weird. No, no, I'm just kidding. I was that was called coughing. I was clearing my throat. Yeah. So let's um, let let us let us begin. I had to drop something off at my daughter. My Sam green screen. I yes. had to drop something off to my daughter before I got home. The one with the baby, and uh, so I got to play with my uh, granddaughter Kalani, and. Um, I got to hear her do like a little noise. It was so cute. That is fascinating. It was How old awesome. is she now? She uh, may be August the first baby seven, to ever do that. September, October, November, four months and a little bit. Four months, almost two weeks. Yeah, whoopsie. Full screen by accident. So there we go. I've got oh. I've got it. So your pictures are more or less where I'm looking at the camera now. So it doesn't look like I'm recording the whole thing looking off it like this. So, so well, I can look at my camera here. I kind of got you there. No, I um, just I just wanted to look at my camera for a change. <laughs> Sam's video. The way you're holding your hand, it looks like your entire finger is inserted directly in your nose. It is nose. not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one, Sam. That was intentional, right? So let's start. Let's start the episode. I have no idea what we want to talk about today. I have no idea what we're doing, but we are mere casuals. A World of Warcraft podcast, podcast based on surrounding, focusing on Wrath of Lich King for now, a World of Warcraft expansion. And I am getting Will, ready. Josh, Will, jo- I'm Will Ry- Josh, I'm Josh slash Will Riker. I swear to God, I heard it. Were you going to say Will Smith? No, I was, I, I was trying to figure out which one was my real name. He has identity crisis right now. I'm okay. Sam slash Will Aaron. I'm Alan slash, oh. Kona. And we are Mere Casuals, the World of Warcraft <laughs> podcast. Focusing on Wrath of the Oh, did we already do that part? We already did that part. Yeah. So we uh we got together yesterday. Yeah. Virtually. <laughs> and uh and we recorded a couple of videos on the the runes now, for season of discovery. Now and how then, did that go? And then after doing that, we realized that somebody forgot to hit record. And so then we re-recorded a couple videos on uh, on the season of discovery runes, um, significantly less enthusiastically the second time around. So once they get released, you will see three three bored, annoyed people talking about uh, the first one's going to be warrior runes, and we talked about hunter runes, and then we're gonna we're gonna go from there. We're gonna do other stuff in the future. It's not my fault, Sam. It is your fault. It's not my fault. You're the one who controls. The recording. Well, Al could have backup recorded from his computer. Did he do that? He didn't do that, did he? Uh, he didn't so. Do I have all the inputs going? I do. So, what do we want to talk about today? Have you done anything in game? I know Sam hasn't. Have you done anything in game, Al? Uh, more regular daily runs. Are you starting to do those regularly? Daily. Yes. Daily. Daily, so to speak. 
so to speak. How's that going for you? Going pretty good. So uh, I did. Uh, well, I did a pit of sorrow run with you, and we had the battered hill drop. We didn't right, get it. Yeah. We both lost oh. the roll. I died in that one and couldn't figure out why, but then we realized it's because the uh, tank was not pulling aggro. Yeah, um, he just he kept trying to gather so much that he forgot to say, "Oh yeah, I got to get aggro." I've got yeah, I've got some stories about some random dungeon finders. I've been doing a lot this week, but you keep going. Yeah, it's it's funny because two of our guild members were on together, didn't think to uh, group together, but ended up in the same dungeon together. A well, lot of together without know. being together. I didn't know the other guildie was doing random dungeons. Do you know why you didn't know he was online? I knew he was online. I was talking to him. Oh, you're just not part of our guild. Yeah, I am. No, no. That Will Riker is part of the guild. I've um, been playing my, but, my guild leader, Will Riker. But he geared up. Fucking guild leader, Will Riker. Um, but you have to talk to people. I mean, I you don't do. have to. I did. I was talking to him. We when said hi, into, uh, blah, blah, blah. We were talking and uh, we just didn't, it didn't come up that uh, I was, I, cause I, when I, I've been just doing a bunch of random dungeons. So I didn't, I wasn't like, what are you doing right now? Because most people would be like, Hey, how are you? What you up to? Yeah. But that's like, yeah, that's people, filler yeah. talk that people say to be polite. Nobody actually cares what anybody else is doing. No, you no know what I would do though for, for a while though. I'd say, hey, how you doing? I gotta run some dungeons. Did you want to join? No filler talk. But the but the queues are faster when I queue solo. Okay, that is true. That is true. And probably so for I him could, too. Yes, you're right. I could I could log on. I could see someone else on, and I could say, hey, how's it going? Would you be interested in making this slower for me? I mean, I could say that. You're I such a just wonderful person. This. I can just picture this as mere casual being mere casuals being a house. And it's like the two of you are sitting in a room, not talking to each other. And then you both get up and try and get through the same door at the same time. Yeah, basically. Where, where are you going? I'm Although going in there. hindsight, the, the person that was on doing dungeons was a healer. So maybe it would have made my cues faster. Probably. But you know what I've been noticing? So I get on, right? And what I've been doing, particularly with my main paladin, because I've been getting my frost emblems because I wanted to get everything I need with frost emblems, which I have now. So I don't really need them anymore. Elfros. Um, well, I mean, at least it's a good picture of them. So I've been, uh, I've been doing the dailies with my main paladin and getting on and I just, I queue for forge of souls directly. And then I do a quick forge of souls run and then I'm done with it. And, okay. uh, I just want to say that we all froze. Cause I heard you say Al froze, but I didn't freeze over here, but both of you didn't end, freeze. Well, because on you're end, in real life, not on a computer. Yeah. But that's not, but, that's not important. That will be sorted out, sorted out later. But then you came back and all of a sudden you were talking really fast and everything. I didn't miss the thing, but you were talking really, really fast. So I did kind of miss the thing. Uh, the important thing is that the recording got it normally. So I, anyways, I usually do the Forge of Souls and it takes me like, I don't know, 10 to 12 minutes, sometimes a couple more to queue. And then the, the run's pretty quick. And But this week I've decided to myself that I need to gear up my second Paladin because what has happened is, oh, I haven't talked about my raid yet, have I? About uh, what's so happened to us. my raid situation? Oh no, you you haven't you haven't addressed it here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say that up front just so that there's context for some of the other stuff that I'm talking uh, about. Josh got kicked out of his raid. <laughs> no, um, I've been in the weekend raid of the guild that I'm in for the past I don't know several months. I don't know Not how long. Not mere casuals. And this past week, it was decided by leadership of that raid that it is no longer the weekend raid and it has been converted into a gdkp which i was like eh, i don't really want to do that so i talked to the the raid leader and i was like is there a spot in the weekday raid and he said yes and no um basically there's not like a permanent spot but they're usually short at least one person so i am the i am the standby person who logs in on Tuesday and Thursday night. And because Please there's usually by. one person short, I get in. What? Please stand by. Exactly. And this past week, for example, um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to log in. Raid starts at 
10 30 10 30 p.m our time and so i i, I log in and i'm like okay 10 30 till 1 30 and i have to get up at five to take sam to work so in the back of my head i'm thinking it'd be kind of cool if 25 people logged on and there wasn't room for me and then i can just go to bed <laughs> but both nights enough people logged in and i did the raid and it was fun i enjoyed it i was tired but i enjoyed it I was frozen again, so he's going to complain that we talked really fast. Do you know what would help? What would help? Not having to get up to drive me to work. What? A second vehicle. Well, you can't. You can't just go buy another vehicle. We yeah, don't have, you have like, a second vehicle. Hundreds of thousands of dollars sitting around. Um, what did Al say? He said we have another vehicle, but it doesn't well, move. Can you fix it? Um. <clears throat> so, anyways, do you, have, do you have YouTube? You can order parts on YouTube? No, you can learn to fix it on YouTube. Oh, we know how to fix it. I don't have, I don't just have all the this parts. stuff, and it's expensive. Yeah. And that's not the point. Okay. That's not the point. Go to a wrecker. Go to a wrecker and pick up the parts. I don't want to. Can you to. do that? It's yeah. not worth the effort. It's like a 16-year-old car. So it's a, tw it's a 2008, which means it came out in 2007, which is 16 years ago. So anyways, what I was saying is the weekend raid converted into a GDKP. So I got into the weekday raid as a standby slash I'm there because they're always short one person and secretly wishing that I could sleep. And the weekend raid up until like today was short a Rhett Paladin. But Al has a new Christmas mug. I have a Christmas cup too. I don't know I why. In total. Um, so anyways, I was like, okay, the weekend GDKP is short a Rhett Paladin. Maybe I'll sign up, but I want to get some gear first. So I've been working on gear for my ret, my second ret paladin all week, running random dungeon finders, collecting um, emblems and uh, defiler scourge stones and, and all of that stuff. And I took my gear score from, I think I started the week at like 4,300. I'm at like 5,100 now. So it's gone up significantly. Uh, doing the battered hilt quest for a weapon would kind of top things off. But I did notice midway through today, they did have a Rhett Paladin sign up. And I was like, okay, good, because I didn't really want to do it. He didn't have to do it anyways. Well, but part of me wanted to, because like, if I could get in, it's a lot of gold. Like the cuts, you the know cuts what for those this is? ICC GDKPs are a lot of gold. You are not a casual player. I'm not, I'm not going though. And I am a casual player, trust me. So... Anyways, I've been doing those. I've been doing those. That's why I've been doing a bunch of gamma heroics on my paladin that is in mere casuals. So there, Sam. I Just am because you're part of mere casuals does not mean you're a casual. Kind of does. It's my title. So hold on. I'm the master casual. Let me get this what? straight. So the... Uh... Rarely played Paladin that you left in charge of us in Mere Casuals. Yeah. And finally playing some more, and you're gearing yeah. him up <laughs> not to run a raid with us, but to run a GDKP back with Varg again. No. So he's going to leave us a, for it's Varg. Not, a, it's not a Varg GDKP. It's another group that's running it. Um, a Varg that spawned. Is affiliated. Varg spawned GDKP. Yeah, I don't really know who, who who's running it or how it works, to be honest. But... A, no. And I was going to try and I was going to go this weekend. If there was an open spot, I was going to grudgingly go and grudgingly collect my paycheck at the end and sure, et cetera, sure. et cetera. Because, sure. because why not? My but paycheck. as a side effect, I don't want to do it regularly. I don't want to be in a regular GDKP because I don't like that. There's, there's, a, there's a twinge. Is twinge a word? Sure. There's a mm -hmm. twinge of toxicity in GDKPs. Like there's a little bit of only a twinge of a little bit too competitive, a little bit too greed based, a little bit too sticking your nose in exactly what other people are doing kind of stuff. Like it's not it's not what I enjoy. And even just looking at the like the the um the discord for it with like the pre bids for the shadow mourn shards, which 15,000 gold per shard 
is the is the pre bid, I believe. Nice. What they're going for times fifty shards, which is, I mean, I, I'm not sure oh. if my math is right, but I think like seven hundred and fifty thousand gold. What? Well, where does that gold go? It goes to the people doing the GDKP raid, which is why I was tempted to do it. Which I would have been absolutely welcome on my main paladin, but I was like, ah, I just don't feel like it, and I'd have to commit every weekend still, which it was kind of nice not having to. Um, going as my alt paladin, I'd have to put some money out to gear up first. But <laughs> well, I'm at fifty one twenty five. I got more gear to put on once I buy another piece. So I'm pretty much for pretty close to where you're at. I wouldn't mind. We did lose a level eighty out of the guild. Somebody left. Um, who? 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 Uh, Warbringer, I believe, is now a war somebody. Oh, he's That's still nice. in our Discord. But uh, he he well, he probably found a place to get some raids going. But well, that's I wouldn't the thing. mind. We aren't really doing anything. If we wanted to do something, like if we want to actually raid regularly, which if you wanted to do that Sunday evenings, I'm now available Sunday evenings, um, or Saturday evenings, or whatever. What? What? Well, you just. It's been it's suggested. Just, it has been suggested. I'm just saying that I'm available now. If we wanted to do that kind of thing. And every if we wanted Sunday? to do it, what? Every Sunday? I don't know. Why? What's wrong? You work well, every Unless you're other... doing family stuff. I've been able to switch my shifts up until now. Um, I don't do family stuff. What are you talking about? Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> he really doesn't. Um, even if we did it every other Sunday or three Sundays a month, we could we could start recruiting and being like, hey, let's put a group together and do this thing. Although I feel like a lot of people are going to migrate away from wrath in 11 days. So I'm playing with my keyboard, my mouse. Probably. Why? Do you know how to change the sensitivity on it? Yes. Okay. So I feel like there's going to be some people migrating away to a certain other server. They may, they may go discover that server. Yeah. That, so, will, that will be us too. That that's my yeah. one solace is that I think that we have we have a real shot of actually raiding in season of discovery. Um, so yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Well, that's that's also that's my other thought. So we've had this kind of shake up with the with the guild that I've been raiding in. My regular spot in the weekend raid is no longer there. I'm the extra now. Which I mean, I'm probably gonna have a spot because there's gonna be even more no shows probably moving forward. But I've now, I've got my paladin geared up. <laughs> what was that? Um, Did that pick up? I don't know, probably. I've got my paladin somewhat geared up. He's probably, unless I want to shell out a crap load of gold, I'm probably not going to get a shadow more. Um, I've now killed the Lich King a couple times. I'm probably not going to kill the Lich King on Heroic. I mean, who knows, but probably not. So I've kind of I've kind of reached my goals in Wrath. So part of me is like, do I want to more or less abandon Wrath and focus on Season of Discovery? Like maybe still like raid log a little bit if there's a spot for me there, but like focus on the whole Season of Discovery thing. Because I feel like some people are going to do that. I feel like actually, I feel like a lot of people are going to do that. Because there's a lot of hype around Season of Discovery, and a lot of people are about as done Wrath as they're going to be. Do you know what I mean? No. Well, there's still the last raid to come. Yeah, but it's tank. like a boss that nobody really cares about. I would like to... I, I was thinking, if we ever wanted to set up a day with an event if we set up like a, a world tour day where we streamed and we did a world tour with, uh, with the guild, that'd be kind of fun. Or if we like went, all the cleared, heroics? yeah. Or if we went and cleared some old content and got some achievements on the old stuff, just get them out of the way. I don't know what's going to disappear when Kata comes, but there's some things we should get that may not be there such as uh, weapon leveling. And uh, if you don't have the bare knuckle achievement, you want to get that because yeah. uh, they'll be gone. Come Kata. So I don't know. I don't we got a few. I, you know what? I don't think I have that. That's to get hand to hand to four hundred, right? Yeah. 
You know what? I think yeah. I did get that. I don't know. Maybe I did. You know yeah, what so we I mean, should do, though? Go ahead. You can finish. I thought you were done. Oh, well, I mean, I was going to say we should look at what's not going to be there and see if we can accomplish it before we take off to, uh, to sod. There's going to be some stuff for sure. But um, what we should do is as kind of like a farewell to Wrath, because like the more I think about it, the more I feel like I'm my focus is going to shift to to season of discovery because Wrath is almost done. Um, what we should do as kind of a farewell to Wrath is we should get a group together and go back and clear the raids we didn't clear. Go go clear AQ forty with a group of people and go clear Blackwing Lair with a group of people. Maybe mm -hmm. even the maybe even the Burning Crusade raids. I don't know how easy they would be, but with a group of people. I know, the, I know the vanilla ones are are easy. I mean we three manned molten core. So yeah, I mean we, how many people could you possibly need for AQ forty? Yeah no if we had a few more people we could do the BC ones as well. But didn't I just say that? Yeah, well, you said get stuff that's not going to be there anymore. That stuff's still going to be there. I said other things. But yeah, no, it's a good idea. But that would be kind of a good, like, I mean, we got, we got like a, we got 11 days, get a couple little raids together. Even Sam could have fun with that because it's a no pressure thing. Mm -hmm. You can yes. just go fire your, uh, your volley, just, just volley nonstop. And I am not working on December 1st. So I will be doing a whole day of um, season of discovery, and I'm probably going to turn November thirtieth. Yeah, but I don't know what time it's coming out on November thirtieth. I don't know if there'll be any hiccups. So the first full day will be December first. Okay, I feel and like I I... go on. I think I work until maybe five o'clock on November thirtieth. So it's not like I won't play. I'll just come home and I'll be a couple hours behind somebody, but I just, I think I'm going to stream record, create content and play and try to get up to 25 as quick as I can. Sounds good. Like, yeah, that's, I think I work in the morning. Do I work in the morning on the 30th that week? No, your evenings. That would be my weekend to work. Mornings. So I'm mornings, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm mornings. So I'd be off at three. I, I feel like the server's not even gonna be out until at least like noon or two or something. I don't really know yeah, though. They've probably announced it and I just don't know. Like I said, I think I'm working till five. If not, it might be later. But either way, I got December first, the whole day. We could do twenty five by the end of a day, right? Uh two days maybe. Depends. What if we I ship, mean what if we ship our heirlooms over? <laughs> that would make it faster can we it do definitely, that no no we, we can't do that it's a different uh it's a different game version of the game versions the word i was trying to think of so do we know what we want do we know what our plan is so with the when the three of us play together which we should totally stream when the three of us play together um what are we playing al wants to play a shaman you said right yes yes are you gonna try and be a tank or are you gonna try yes. and heal what are you gonna try and do well, I'm going to dual wheel, but I'm also going to try and tank. So I'm going to check and see how easy it is to switch back and forth. We're going to have mm -hmm. the runes available for all of it. I was going to say we won't have a healer then, but I don't think it matters. And did you decide on a hunter? No. What do you, what do you think you're going to play? Warlock? No. Mage? No. What, just what are you, you going to play? I don't know. Shaman? Do no. We're trying to have a discussion, healing, though. Like, come up healing with a, Shaman? No, I probably maybe mage or a warlock. Mage or a warlock. Okay, those are cool choices. Oh, I wonder. Do we want to try and work it so we all start in the same area? What can shamans be? Orcs and Torin. <laughs> Just orc and Torin. Yeah, I don't think trolls can be shamans at the start, or can they? I don't remember. I don't think so. But the thing is, if because I think I'm going to play a warrior to start with. You're playing a shaman. Sam wants to play a mage or a warlock. Yeah. So warlocks, orcs can be warlocks. Trolls can be mages. Uh, orc, I would be an orc warrior. That's all the same starting area. Okay. So we could start together and, and level through. And we could have our little side characters to play whenever. But like, it shouldn't take us that long to get to 25. Especially if we're together. 
Yeah, and it's the week. It's the yeah. week where me and you both work mornings. So we have evenings available. I don't know what our schedule is like. We have one day. What do you mean one day? It's the week when we both work mornings, so we have evenings together. I always work mornings. I know, but we both work mornings. On the... That, that week. That is the week we both work mornings. So we will have evenings together to play. Yes, but it comes out on the 1st. It a comes Friday. out on the 30th. Which... Is it a Friday? It's a oh, Thursday. wait, what was I thinking? Oh, I was thinking the time I booked off. Because I'm off until the Tuesday, but the Tuesday is still just the 28th. Yeah. Well, I mean, and then when I'm off that weekend. I'm not. I know, but you're off at one. Maybe. Maybe. Either way, I feel like we'll be able to find some time to play together. That's the point I'm trying to make. What about Al? Um, we'll fit Al in when we can. So are we going to have our characters, the three of us, and then the two of us? Well, I don't know, because remember when we were talking about this before... Because of the the short level cap, it almost doesn't matter as long as we like have some areas we do together. So even if like say only two of us are on for a little bit and the other person's like a couple hours behind, like Ooh, it'll still only be, be a couple to play levels. Me. I won't like that. Well, yeah, but we could come back and help you with stuff, or we could like three man some dungeons for experience. There's lots of stuff we could do. We'll I just don't it. like being left out. I know. You won't be left out. But if you both are on and I'm at work. And there will be. And then you guys be, are playing without me. There will be rune hunting going on. You could just log me in and I can just follow you around. <laughs> yeah, we could. We, we um, won't be yeah. that far off on level that even if we get a level or two ahead, we're still going to be able to do things with you. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the worst saying. case scenario. That's the worst case scenario. Unless you stop at one and we get all the way to 25, then that's probably the worst case scenario but don't do that um <laughs> yeah the worst case scenario is sam doesn't play at all for several days and then complains that we didn't include her that kind of sounds like something i would do it does kind of so that's that's why it's not an un <laughs> unbelievable scenario it's just the worst case scenario yeah it's so the worst just, likely scenario you're, you're never going to be out of reach uh unless you stop playing altogether you won't be out of reach well, even if we do something with your feet. my feet are cold so even even if we do something, we're going to be in your realm. It's not like we're going to be level 45 and you're going to be level 25. Again, so like every time Josh plays. Yeah, yeah but, but I, I have to stop at 25. But I will also be doing alts. Yeah, me too. Because there's so, a number of classes I want to try. So, I mean, I can hold off unless it comes to a point where people stop playing altogether and I want to get my shaman up regardless or... If if I get bored and I get my warrior up to a certain spot, but I want to play my shaman, then I can leave my warrior there and join him. And I don't know. I don't want to ruin our uh, ruin our composition. But either way, we're not going to be out of reach of you. We don't have like a composition. We've got as of right now a warrior, a uh, warlock, or mage, and a uh, and a shaman that wants to tank slash melee. So I mean, we yeah. don't have like a solid group composition. No, we do. We have a tank. We have a melee. And if you play a mage, we'll have a healer. Um, yeah, sure. Sorry, it's a melee. I meant DPS. If you don't, if you want to play a uh, warlock, then you could also be a tank or a DPS. Yeah. So, there's I mean, awesome. there's there's a little bit of a composition there so far. Maybe maybe I'll just go completely nuts and play a druid. Nah, I probably won't do that. <laughs> um. So the other thing the druid can do all three, right? The druid can do whatever they want. It's just a pain in the butt because I hate druids. So what can druids do? Place class. Druid well, I haven't looked at their runes yet, but normally a druid can be melee DPS. Nope, that's not what I meant. Caster DPS, healer, tank. Class. What can they be? Torin. Oh. Ugh. Yeah, I know. I don't want to be a Torin. <clears throat> Unless they add in new race combinations, that would be a cool thing for them to do. There's been talk. So, I mean, it was on Bob's podcast last night. Um, Scotty was saying, you know, this isn't classic, classic. And I kind of agree with what he said. Is that why don't they just give a paladin to the horde, give a shaman to the alliance, you know, and, 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 you know, stretch out, you know, let some classes do this, let other classes do that. Because it's well, so you know. Change. 
if that does happen, they're like, surprise, this is what happens. I'm playing a paladin. So we could all play a paladin. It wouldn't matter. <laughs> we could I have nothing but paladins and still be a decent group. Um, I'd still be a shaman. But I don't think they're going to do that because yeah. they've added paladin-like and shaman-like abilities to other classes. Okay, what did you just start saying? Oh, I mean, they didn't. They didn't have to. People were. People were what you can tell. You can talk. Sam will be back. People, people are talking about. So, for example, the rend buff. I guess yeah. that was something that's horde only. And there's a like, line saying, "Well, we want it too." It was like, you know, why not just make it so that they can get it? We don't need to give the paladin buffs to a different class. Just give them a paladin. We don't have to give shaman buffs to a certain class. Just give them a shaman. They're already changing some of the rules. They could have changed that yeah. so easily. Well, they could have, but it's kind of more fun to do it this way. Like, I mean, I am kind of disappointed that I'm not going to be able to play a shaman or a paladin. You are able to but... play a paladin. <clears throat> no, because we're we're playing horde, so I'd have to play it on like my own. I'm um, still playing it. I think it's more. I think it's cooler that they're doing all these class changes, because if that was the change they made, everyone would be like, "Well, that's dumb." There's going to be that pe that group of people around, regardless of what happens. Well, yeah, but they're. I was going to say they won't be playing, but they will be. They'll be playing and complaining all the time, I, which I don't understand because I think this is a really cool thing that they've done. Yeah, when they're not talking about politics, they'll talk about this. You know, so two, what, things, two things they don't know about. So what are we going to do? Are we going to start a guild? And I know you said a lot of the people, like in our Discord <laughs> and stuff, they all have plans to join their other fancy streamer guilds. Um, do we do we want to make a guild and try and recruit and try and get like uh and get like a solid group together? Do you want to do that, or would you rather go into a guild that has some composition? I, I, I want to know. join Bob's guild. No, stop pointing it out to Bob. It's not that. It's just <laughs> I'm just, I, I don't know. That? I know nothing about. I have heard nothing about guilds. Uh, well, it's actually not Bob's guild. It's Ampy's guild. So, so I have no idea so what technically no idea yes what you're wrong, joining. but I mean I would join it because I would know people in there. I'm what? just thinking. Which I part? mean that would be cool to join a bigger guild, I guess. Yeah, but if we do a smaller guild, then we have a lot more work on our end. Yeah, um, which I honestly don't know if I want to do that, but that's totally up to you. I mean, I'll play along until. Well, let's figure out and join a guild then. Yeah, I mean, part of the reason I'm going horde. Is because I, I feel like I might end up alone again at some point, and at least I'll have some people around that I can play with. It's not following Bob, it's just Bob will be over here, and if I have no one else to play with, at least I can play with Bob. I feel hey, like you most play of the Bob? people I feel like most of the people from our Discord are, are going horde. Yeah. And it just gives us a group of people that we know. Where did I post that? The poll? Yeah. Oh, we could also join I think it was Bruce Lee that said he's going into his kids' guild. Well, I mean, we could join that guild. Yeah, like his oh, kid I, I, started a guild. Yeah, they're starting a guild. He's joining. He's joining his kid. I think it was Bruce Lee that said that. Hmm. And well, at least I got. I I was told I can join. I don't know about you guys. So would that be Brandon Lee's guild then? I don't know. Is that his name? <laughs> yeah. Which I guess doesn't oh, no, really no, make sense it. because because Brandon yeah. Lee Brandon you Lee died to, years ago. <laughs> you have to modify it because he's Bruce Lee, so it would have to be like. Something Brutally. other than Brandon. Yeah. But um so seven to three. Maybe. You know what? If you randomly find another dungeon with Bruce Lee in it again, maybe you can ask him then. See, I modified I modified that joke on the fly, by the way. Because when you said Bruce Lee's Bruce Lee's kids guild, my first instinct was to say with no explanation, Oh, I heard his kid died. And then Ooh. and then I thought to myself, no. That's not the way I should do that. I should probably say so. It's Brandon Lee's guild because I didn't want to pop straight to the straight to the confusion. Yeah. Well, but, that being said, if you were referring to Brandon Lee, Bruce Lee also died. So that is true. I think before Brandon Lee, long before. That I think family Brandon Lee, bad luck. I, yeah. Oh, well, I think I think they died at the same age. I never really looked into it too much. It's probably not uh, that important. Please die. <clears throat> okay, anyways, can we just move on? <laughs> we can probably just move on. Yeah. But what fun would Bruce, that be? Bruce Lee died July 20th, 1973. Wow. A year, a, 
a year, a month, and almost two full weeks after my birth. So it's your fault. Yes. And when, how old was he when he died? Um, I don't see an age for him. Brandon Lee was 28. Let's just assume uh, they were exactly the same age because that's a cool story. Okay, sounds good. So, okay, well, <clears throat> Bruce Lee was born November 27th. Really? 1940. Yeah, really. So he, he was 33. And he died yeah. Five in years 1973. Difference. 32 or 33. So not the same age. <clears throat> but close. Five year difference. But you two share a birthday. Okay, neat. So we... Um, Sorry. I announced that. You what? Doxed. Thanks a lot, Sam. You're ruining my life. You've been announcing oh. his birthday forever. <clears throat> he oh? was born in California. He was an American. Yeah. 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 He was. So was this kid. Did he only have the one kid? Nope. I don't know. I don't care. Why are we talking about Bruce Lee? So I don't much? know. You brought it up. So I was going to talk about some of the some of the gammas that i've done because some of them have just been so they're they're they're, they're chaotic is what they are i've done i did one um one forge of souls i might did i talk about this one last night the forge of souls where the tank would not stop moving he just went pack to pack he'd, he'd hit the mobs like three or four times and then start running again and the DPS are left behind. I ended up tanking half the mobs because we're trying to kill the things, DPS them down. He's already moved on to the next pack. And after a while, they just turn to us because the tank's not actively doing anything. And he's going like pack to pack. He almost dies a couple times. The healer ends up following the tank. And it was just this like super chaotic, like no chance to stop and drink at any point. And just, just really, really frustrating dungeon. And so you many of the Forge of Souls runs are like that. Should have voted him out. Well, I didn't want to sit and wait for another tank. And it was going fast. But the thing is, he didn't even... Like, he wasn't even like a 6k gear score tank. He was like just an okay tank. So if the healer hadn't followed him, he would have just died. Which would have been hilarious. And complained. <clears throat> oh, he definitely would have complained. He was definitely the type that would, would complain. Um, And I've had... Uh, Oh, what else happened? There was a couple other like vote kicks. And you know how I said, I said last week, I feel like people are lemmings sometimes. If someone does a kick vote, they just accept it mm -hmm. and, and vote yes. I saw a couple fail because right. we did the, what dungeon was it? It was, it was one of the non, it wasn't one. So it was a random dungeon. And it was one with a mechanic. What was the mechanic? I think it was Utgard Keep. We did. And yes, the ice path. The ice path, right. Ugh. So what happened is we get in there and one of the players was like just returning to the game and they're like, what is this frost stuff? <clears throat> I don't understand. And they like almost died a couple times. And they, they like straight up said, they're like, well, what is this stuff? And we were like, oh, you just, you don't stand in it. A lot has changed. <laughs> and then the next thing, you know, um, a kick vote pops up. The guy's like, blah, blah, blah has, uh, has been, what does it say? So like, so-and-so has, uh, done a, a vote kick. And then the reason is doesn't know the new mechanics. And we were like, no. <laughs> And and it got voted down as no, and we were like, J just, so just tell them what the mechanic is. I am so happy that like, it got voted no. It's it. There's frost on the ground. Move over. Move it. Move out of it. You don't need to boot the person because they're like, oh, this is new. How do I do this? Kick. No, you just answer the question. Well, I'm surprised I didn't get kicked. When what? When, when I you... played, I died every time on the frost. But wasn't because well, you had two votes on your side? <laughs> yeah, that was with a group of us. They can't, was it all of us? No, it was us three and two other people. Yeah, you can't pass a vote kick with only two people. It takes three votes. Oh, there was actually no uh, random dungeon finder then either. Oh, was that a while ago? This wasn't recent. Yeah, this was recent. I, well, no, we did one recently. 
Have we done a random dungeon with Sam? Yeah, since the yeah when the random dungeons first came out, we well, all logged on and we queued for a bunch of randoms. So memorable. I'm so memorable. I remembered. Me dying. It was the time I kept dying, yeah. but then on the end boss, oh, I'm the, the only one who stayed alive. Yeah, I remember? And it took like 45 minutes to kill the last boss because it was just Sam's DPS. And she oh, yeah. somehow managed to do less DPS than just auto shooting. I don't know how that works. It was funny. But yeah, I didn't die. That was that was a fun that was a fun gamma heroic yeah. because stop pressing your buttons, your DPS will go up. Yeah. Um, because Sam kept dying, and I was like, "You gotta move when the frost comes." And she's like, "Oh," and then she'd stop paying attention and die, and she'd be like, "Ah, oh, what happened? You gotta move when the frost hits." And she'd go, "Oh, okay, I'll try I harder." I know the this healer time. was getting so mad, and she just kept it, not she kept not moving because she'd like it's it's long enough in between ice patches that she like lost interest and stopped paying attention. <laughs> Yeah, but GTFO didn't come up. No, I, and it doesn't. It doesn't if your sound's not on. And it doesn't if you don't have it downloaded. That as well. I had a download and sound on. I wasn't hearing GTFO. Because I died on the ice patch too, because I totally forgot that it was in there. At the end boss. Well, no, the I... end boss, something else got me, didn't it? Yeah, the uh, we got cleaved. Oh, I thought Al... Al got ice, whatever, and then something happened, and oh, then yeah, you no, got the, distracted, and then you died. Yeah, the ice got you because you said you said something like you were too focused on something and you missed the ice. Because mm -hmm. you even commented, you're like, "I've been making Sam fun of Sam this whole time," and then it got me too. And with me, when the war stomp went out, as the stomp was going out, the tank moved, and then suddenly I was in the cone for the cleave, and I just got thumped. And then we were both dead within a couple seconds. And then but, it was yeah. just, it was all Sam at that point. Well, I became reliant on GTFO, I guess. And I just expected GTFO to say, get the, out, oh, and uh, it didn't. So see, I try not to, because there's a lot of situations where GTFO starts going off and I'm not even in something. But here's the and, thing though, without it, I mean, there's so many effects on the ground. Yeah, uh, I don't know if oh, I was no, I here. use it. I use it. I just try not to rely on it. Yeah, you know what's really annoying? So the Lich King fight in ICC. No, I wouldn't know anything so, about that. So there's a phase of the Lich King fight. This there, there's these transition phases where you have to go out to the edge of the platform and fight these risen spirits or risen souls. I forget what they're called. You have to go out and fight these things. And during that phase, these orbs like slowly drift towards you. And the range is supposed to take out the orbs where the melee where the melee kills these ghosts, right? But if there is an orb coming towards you, GTFO goes off. So basically the entire transition phase, like a minute and a half, two minutes when you're out here fighting these things, my computer's just going, rrr, 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 and it's the most annoying thing. I want to shut it off, but then there's other situations where I need it. So I don't want to shut it off. And they're, they're it, already wondering if you actually have one. They should not. They should not have that added to the GTFO list. It is not yeah. okay. There's nothing to get out of. Your guild leaders are already wondering if you even have any add-ons downloaded. Oh, I have add-ons. <laughs> we actually did. Uh, I'm actually the sole reason why the weekday raid killed Lich King, because the weekend raid we killed Lich King last week, and the weekday raid hadn't killed it yet, and they're like the good raid. Um, so. I, I joined the weekday raid and we go and we kill the Lich King. It took like three tries. We we downed it super easy. But it took you three it, tries. It took us three tries, but it takes a lot of people. It takes people more than three tries. It's not an easy fight. Well, I actually, wouldn't know. it kind of is. I wouldn't know. I'll it's probably fun. never know. The Lich King is a fun fight because there's a lot of stuff to do, but it's not all like at the same time in like an annoying jumble of mechanics. Have you taken the food out of the oven? Oh, no. Do you want to do that? I just thought of that. It's probably definitely done by now. Oh, no, she just thought of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I just thought of that. Um, it's not like an annoying jumble. It's like there's there. It's split nicely into phases. Each phase is just it's just enough going on to keep people busy. But it's not like it's not like confusing and stupid. It's like, okay, phase one, we're DPSing the boss. He doesn't have a cleave, so you don't have to worry about his cleave. There's these infects that go out. You run the ghoul over to the tank that's holding on to these other drudge things. And 
and basically it's just it's just that you run you're running the diseases over you're doing some dps there's some stuff going on then you got the transition where you move to the edge as i was saying then you come back in and it's that but there's also these valkyries that come and pick you up and you have to dps them so they don't drop people over the edge i knew about those then there's another transition and then there's a third phase which you got to avoid ghosts or something it's nicely split up and it's it's a really good fight like it's a really enjoyable fight and apparently the the heroic mode of it is borderline impossible and i don't actually know what gets added to the heroic mode because we haven't attempted it yet because there's just no way we're doing it so at least not yet maybe after they buff or debuff or whatever there's like a change that's going to happen does it look cooked looks really dry Oh yeah, probably, I mentioned it's been in there for like an hour longer than I meant to. Did you? Turn I, mentioned, I mentioned something to Bob. He was yeah. running a stream and the Ghostbusters soundtrack was playing or the song. You know, mm-hmm. I ain't afraid of no ghost. I said, Bob, too, we don't have an add on that just takes that whole clip. I ain't afraid of no ghost. And that's what pops up when you're fighting the Lich King during the ghost phase. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, I ain't afraid of no ghost. That would be something. That would that would get annoying though if that was just looping through the whole face. But <laughs> you should add the new new new. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Hmm. So they're coming out with a new Ghostbusters movie. That yeah, sounds no. like something I don't care at all about. Why? Why not? Why no? Well, because, one did pretty good. Because, because why don't they make something new? It has the original three in it. Why do they? Isn't one of them dead? That's why I said three. Okay. Oh, so there was four? Yeah. I've never Dude. sat through an entire Ghostbusters movie. Is it four? Well, Maybe it's three. One of them's so there, dead. There was, so there was an original three that came from the university. Then they hired um, Ernie Hudson's character. And then one of the original university people died. So he's part of the original three, but the first movie actually ended up with four by the end. Yeah. Um, so now there's three left. The last movie that was released was pretty good, comparatively. The thing speaking. is, the the most recent one, mm-hmm. the one who is dead, was yeah. in the movie still. Oh, did they do that dumb CGI thing where they bring dead people back? Um, yeah. I don't know. I think they had somebody play him. Oh, really? No, it I was him. That seems worse to me. Did he didn't talk or nothing? He just okay. Spoilers to anybody that hasn't seen this Ghostbusters movie. I haven't seen turn, it. Turn off now. Do you do you want to hear it? I'm not going to watch it because I don't care. He didn't say anything. They're just doing the last fight, and they're all shooting their lasers. Then just his spectral visage uh, popped out. They were shooting at it. And they all looked over and just gave him a little nod. That that was it. Okay, so they didn't overdo it. He didn't talk. That's overdoing it. What's that? That's overdoing it. The kid from okay. Stranger Things, isn't it? Which one? They're all kids. The the, Mike, the main Mike, Mike 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 Mike. Which one's the main kid? I don't remember. I don't know. The one that found the one 11. who is in a relationship with the alien. There's an alien. Eleven. Is She's she an, an alien? alien? Isn't she? I don't. Think I don't know. So. I haven't watched it past season two. I didn't pay a lot of attention. Once they killed. Once they killed Sam White. Spoilers to anybody that hasn't seen season two <laughs> of Stranger Things. That was like <laughs> five years ago. Once they killed Sam. Well, I've had people come. Once they killed Samwise Gamgee, I was out. Yeah, it was. See, that's the they're, thing they're making is, another season. Him like, dying like, was unnecessary. With, come up with something new. Write a new story. Well, this is the final season. Like is they're going to end it. Well, is it according to the I internet? Last season was the last season. Didn't they say it was? No, according to the internet, I wasn't paying it's attention. It's the final season. According to the internet, the Ghostbuster movies are good. So I don't believe everything I see on the internet. My oh. show is coming back February 20th. Your what? My show. Rookie Blue? No, just the rookie. Just the rookie. Okay. I was close. Oh, when is it coming back? February 20th. There was a cliffhanger, wasn't there? Yes. And oh. then Rookie Feds got canceled. So there will not be a second oh. season. Shocker. Um, it wasn't very good. No. It was, it was, it was something. Uh, I'll have to rewatch that last episode just to see where the cliffhanger ended. I don't know. I just really like the end fight scene in the final uh, season. The- so I'm, I, I just opened up IMDb to yeah. check out the Ghostbusters to see if that was actually the character playing. 
I just I'm gonna check up on the but the first thing I see is Dakota Johnson is Madam Web. Exciting. Who is that? Dakota Johnson. Anastasia Steele. Oh, Don Johnson's daughter. Yes. Okay. Yes. And Melanie Griffith, I believe. Yes, I believe so. Cool. So was <laughs> it was it the actor? <laughs> she's she's playing Madam Web. I don't, I don't know, know who, who that, that is. is. Uh, it's a Spider-Man character. So it's 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 going to be a Spider-Man themed movie, much like Venom was, but it'll be about Madam Web. So wait, it's a so Ghostbusters, this is Ghostbusters? And Spider-Man crossover? No, it's a different movie. Okay, because you didn't. Yeah, it sounded like you're still talking about Ghostbusters. You did not specify. No, I, I did. No I said I opened. I said I opened up IMDb because I'm going to look up the Ghostbusters, and the first thing I saw was Madam Red Web. So you guys just didn't hear me. So this will be the 43rd Spider-Man movie. Yes, 44th. Yes. There's so many. Somewhere in the 40s. Movies. According to the internet, there's. Some- you know what? You know what? I was kind of secretly rooting for. I was rooting for the writers' strike to not end and them just hire some new people with new ideas. Because, yeah, another no. yeah. Now that the strike is over, we're finally going to get that forty third Spider Man movie. Yeah, and we're going to get another Ghostbusters reboot. We all wanted that. Okay, and that's coming out get... like sort of recent, so I feel like it was already filmed before the writer strike. There's going to be five more Marvel movies, <laughs> and there's going to be there's going to be another Superman reboot. And there's going to be yeah. three. There's I think there's they scheduled four more Batman reboots in the next six months, um, each grittier than the last. Um, you know, the, the, you know what the good thing about that is, though, about what about all of that? What I've saved a lot of money and not going to the movie theater. Yeah. You know what the last movie I went to see in the theater was? I absolutely don't. Dune. Do you know what the next movie I'm going to go see in the theater is? Dune. Probably Dune 2. There's just nothing else I wanted to see. Um, wait, there is a movie Dune, that Dune somebody wants Dune to go to the movie to, Who? For, to see. The little one? Yeah. What movie? Hold on, I know this. It's a 2. Inside Out. Yes, Inside Out 2. He wants to see. Yeah, I mean, at least that's... I mean, it's still a sequel. They're redoing the same thing they did a few years ago. But at least that was a fresh but idea. They're, they're, they're adding... Three new emotions. Oh, so I saw I saw a commercial for it on YouTube, and um, the new emotion we were talking about. What? They're adding new emotions to Inside Out. If you don't know what Inside Out is, that's a nonsense statement. So don't worry about it. Um, okay. They're adding they're adding anxiety, yeah, right? I, know. I don't they know what the other two are. They described anxiety as. Oh, what was it? What did they say? Oh. I don't know. Like a like a lovable new emotion, anxiety, and it's like anxiety is not a lovable emotion. Anxiety is terrible. So are they? But it's like anxiety is like this goofy, lovable emotion. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay so that, they got that wrong. That's uh, giving me anxiety. <laughs> yeah. What are the other two? I don't know. I don't know. If I it's just been know there's three. Yet. Oh. They're 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 revealing. You know. In steps, someone, I don't want to spoil the whole thing. Someone has told me that there's three new emotions. There probably is because he's he's watched the the previews of it on on YouTube. He made me times. go to Disney Plus mm-hmm. to see if it was on there yet. Well, I haven't released yet. We'll take him to the theater. So, uh, is there anything else we want to whine about? No. Should we talk about Wow? Yeah, maybe. We so, did. <laughs> yeah, for five minutes at the beginning. No, for like forty five minutes at the beginning. Oh, um, we what else? Uh, you haven't done anything, right? I worked. Yeah. No, I mean in game. Oh, no. So you've been. But are you looking forward to Season of Discovery? I don't know. Like, are you going to play it and enjoy it? I think you'll enjoy it. Maybe. What are you more looking forward to? Season of Discovery or Cladicalism? Cla- Cladical. That one. The other one. What about except, you, Al? Except what I'm not looking forward to is the ones you said that are underwater. Yeah, that's one zone. That's we one can zone. skip that one. You technically can. I mean, it's actually a fun zone, though. But it's underwater. Just think of like, it as breathing. I, I don't. You don't have to worry about breathing. You don't have to breathe. I don't think. Do you, did we have to worry about breathing? I don't think uh, we had to worry about breathing. Uh, yeah, there's. Uh, so the first thing you do is you get on a boat, then you get sucked under. We well, don't get sucked under. You get attacked. 
and you end up underwater. So initially, um, you need to worry about breathing. Uh, spoilers alert to anyone that hasn't played Cataclysm. Nobody, um, nobody needs a spoiler alert. For I that. know. But you do a couple quests, which eventually gets you a permanent underwater breathing buff when you're in that zone. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's and basically eventually, like you're flying. Oh, okay. Now you're underwater, so none of your mounts are going to work. You get an underwater mount, though. Okay, that's where I was going. Thanks for the spoiler. Oh, well. so, so, sorry. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, so then you do a quest and you get a seahorse, which only works in that zone. Yeah. What a seahorse? Yeah, see, you'll yeah. like it. I'm just still bitter that, that there's in? no pet battles. Um, first half of 2024. Oh. So it could be anywhere from two months to seven months from now. Probably closer to the seven. Because I think they want to let uh, Season of Discovery uh, stew for a little bit first. So then we just go back to our characters? Or do we have to start from yeah. the beginning I again? I mean, you can do either. Like, if we can go to Rolaren and yeah. then... But it might be fun to start fresh characters in Cataclysm. No, because they redid all the starting zones. It's all new quests and zones. Remember we had this discussion? We don't have to. You can just pick up at your, as your level 80 character and level 85. I disagree. I Though my first few quests in the game, I don't want it to be, oh, can you go over here and shoot this little target on a stick for me, please, five times? Oh, can you go over here and just kill this target on a stick for me five times? Well, says the guy here? that does the uh, that does the tournament quests twice <laughs> on the same character. Where do you think? Where do you think that? Uh, where do you think that uh, came from? The tournament was a template for that. But but that's getting me mounts, right? I uh, there's three more mounts, mounts eventually. There's three more mounts I need to get from the tournament. I need all the tabards. I need all the pets. Need. Do you need? Doing? Yes. Needs it. Silly question. Well, I can't get the pets from any of the, the raids because the main person that was going to help us with the raids went and joined Varg. I can. I keep saying I'm available now to raid. Let's get, let's do, let's do it. Let's do a raid. I know. I'm bugging you. Um, we get, uh, let's set up a, a, a sign up for Sunday evening. I don't know how to do it anymore. 54 minutes from now. Eight o'clock. Oh no! I know we're all tired. We're not doing anything this weekend. Maybe next weekend. Maybe next weekend. Sam's off next weekend, so she can't complain. Oh, we're both off next weekend. Are we still going out Saturday night? Yeah, we probably should. Yes, okay. we're going to Azeroth. What's that? World of Warcraft. Axe throwing. Do you want to go axe throwing? No, Ooh. I want steak. Why did you say axe throwing then? Can we do both? I mean, there's no rule saying you can't. Oh, you know what's funny? It's your so birthday. I was at the, was at the axe throwing website because I wanted to see what the age limit is on the low end for axe throwing. So the axe throwing website in the city where we live, um, it's got a big disclaimer at the top of the website that says um, basically uh, they have a zero tolerance. You're not allowed to uh, partake in any marijuana products while at the axe throwing um it's it's very dangerous to attempt to throw axes while high so if they suspect that you are under the influence they will politely ask you to leave or to stop throwing axes at the very least um, i don't think they like kick you out but they won't let you throw axes if they think you're high basically big disclaimer you cannot throw axes while high but and then directly underneath that there is another big announcement that says, uh, good news, we now have our liquor license, so you can enjoy a drink while throwing <laughs> And I was like, wait a minute. Is one really better than the other? No. Because I, I've never tried to throw axes while high or drunk, but I can't imagine myself being safe in either scenario. That's hilarious. So do can we do want, both? We could. Sure. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. That's next weekend. Can right? we uh, get a DD? A what? We know someone. Oh, a driver? Yeah. Is he going to be babysitting, though? He can bring him. He can't drive with him? I don't know. Not after dark, he can't. No? No. He's got his G2. Yeah, but it's there's restrictions. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We could take a cab. They have cabs. Cabs are a thing. Yeah. Why ride? Uncle. 
Why? Cousin? I don't know. Because there's a Y ride, a Y drive. It's U ride and Y drive. There's two separate things. Yeah, Y drive. Tried there's to a hit Y you. drive that almost ran me over the other day with our kid. What? What were they doing with our kid? He was with you. Oh yeah, no, they almost ran us over. So what else do you want to talk zone. about? Because I am I am drifting in focus because I just I, don't I, haven't, eaten, really, I haven't eaten dinner. I don't think we've talked about WoW a lot, but I think pretty what much. Is, what else do you have to say about WoW? I just because well, we keep we, drifting off into other topics. We don't have we much to started, say. We initially started this whole conversation with you asked what what did I do this week, and uh, I don't think we ever got back to it. But no, I've just been running the dungeons, getting my gear score up, running the thing, and uh, and um. Okay, no, I guess I was done. Yeah, well, that's because, yeah, and then I kind of went into the whole, what I was doing, and then my realization this week that I'm feeling done with Wrath. Not done with WoW, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling done with Wrath because I'm looking forward to Season of Discovery, and it dawned on me that I've kind of met my goals for Wrath. I've done what I wanted to do. Now I have a question for you. What? When are we going to record next? If we're going to try to get a dungeon going for Sunday night, we can't record Sunday. We could record Sunday whenever Al gets off work. But what I was the, the other thing I was thinking is if we record the Monday, we can talk about the raid or That's the dungeon true. or blah blah blah. That's true. But what is Monday? Will you want to do that after I'm done work? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. What do you think, Al? What do you work Monday? I don't know. Let me check my schedule, which is up on that phone that's recording me right now, so I can't check it right oh. now. Um, you don't know your schedule? We'll figure it out. We should try. Let's try and get a group okay, together I and do something. I used to know my schedule, but I know I was it kidding. Changes. Um, we'll get a group you, together and do something. Where it hurts. And then we'll schedule Sorry. our recording around it. Um, I just I got a Google. No, YouTube had to put the rate up. I don't remember how to do it. <laughs> how to do a, a sign up? Yeah, I don't know. I remember I how to figure do it. it. Should we uh, talk about the news? Oh, oh is there news? news? I don't know. Pause for news <laughs> intro. It's time for the news. Well, okay. So is there news? We have podcast questions. Or do you actually not know? Because I've been ignoring the news because I don't want to read all the season well, of discovery spoilers. He, well, this, he, this, this is six days ago, so it should count. But there's a WoW variety show coming to WoW Classic. Hardcore and Season of Discovery, a WoW variety show. What is that? I don't know. Read it. Um, <laughs> Fine, all, these things, read it <laughs> all these things are in our Discord, so go to uh, Discord me forward slash mere casuals. Join us and read the news. So you can see what the WoW variety show is about. Um, there was a Hunter Rune change in Season of Discovery. <laughs> like an official one? Yeah. Uh Aspect, uh, well, this might, this might, oh, okay, I don't think I read this. Did we read the Hunter runes already? Yes. Yes, we did. Was there, okay, so no, this has got to be one of the data mine runes, so I won't bring it up. Yeah, we'll leave that alone. Um, There's a lost and found NPC in Booty Bay. What does that mean? Uh, He's got stuff that you may have lost and found, so you can go in there, and um, I'm opening something up right now that is messing up my recording. Um, you can go in there and I'm opening it up and you can get things like the nifty stopwatch. Uh, oh, like mean? stuff that you've removed and can recover like old Skull, toys. Skull of impending doom, nifty stopwatch, Lufa, carrot on a stick, glimmering mithril insignia. Are those all toys? I don't know. We should visit. I'm Booty just Bay wondering if that's in because of the addition of the toy box. Well, those were initially trinkets. Yeah, at least the Lufa Karen Stick and Nifty Stopwatch were. So I don't know, but we'll have to check and see. But they're there. Um, also, they're there. we're 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 okay. So I'll finish off the news, and then I'll add my <laughs> little suggestion. Where did my news go? I don't know. Where's Discord? I don't know. There it is. So what else do we got? Uh, Black Friday sales are on right now. Sixty-seven up to sixty-seven percent off things. This is not sponsored content, by the way. Uh, um, up fifty-seven percent off of what things? Uh, various things up to so there'll be different percentages. So I don't want to say what it is, but there are games there. Um, there's the the arcade is on sale again, so I might. Oh, I guess I Blizzard does sell other games. Yeah, so for wow. twelve 
twelve fifty. I can get the arcade games that they have, which includes the Lost Vikings, which is one of my favorite games. Um, yes, Ice Crown, about it yeah, Ice Crown Citadel raid buff is going out on December fifth. That's what I started saying. So, what does it say? What the buff is? It says, and I quote. Okay, that's as slow as I can talk while it loads. Uh, da, 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 da. We plan to initialize the power increase in ICC on December 5th. It will start with a 5% buff and will increase by 5% every two weeks until it reaches a max of 30 Wow. Percent. As a reminder, the buff is optional. Any player can always choose to remove it from themselves. 5% of what? I'm guessing whatever you use. If it's melee, it'd be 5% of your melee. Like uh, damage buff? Sure. Oh, okay. I, I'm not... You're the Ice Crown Citadel Raider. I'm just looking at it now, because I know that when you go into Ice Crown, like, straight off the bat, oh, wait, no, there's, a negative right 20, there's a negative 20% oh, there's, there's two. I got the answer. Okay. There's two buffs. So there's Hell okay. Screams War Song, Yes. and there's the Strength of Rin. Okay. So they're probably going to be the same. It looks like, okay, yes. So... So one's Alliance, one's Horde? Yes. Strength is increasing. Uh, the King of Stormen lends his strength increasing total. Health, killing done, damage absorption, and damage dealt by 5%. Nice. Yes. So all the purists. Okay, so when it goes up to... Wow, okay, so... That's going to make such a big difference. By the yeah, end you of... Might get, you might get your heroic two, done. What's that? You might get your heroic done. Maybe. But like at the end of the 10 weeks, 30% to see, I'm looking at it. I don't see the deep. I don't know where you're seeing the deep. Oh, right. Okay. There. Um, let's just look at strength of Rin. Uh, increasing total health, healing done, damage absorption, and damage dealt by 5%. Okay. So yeah, all of those by 5 by 30%. What's that? It's a deja vu. Well, I know I was just reading it because you said it out loud, but hearing things verbally doesn't stick in my head. So all of that by 30% at the end of 10 weeks, that's going to make so much of ICC just trivial. Because like right now, the normal modes are, I mean, there's some you can trip up on, but they're not like hard. And even some of the heroics aren't that bad, but like beefed up everything by 30% damage and healing and health. That's going to make most of the heroics completely trivial. And I've never attempted Lich King heroic, so I don't know. Um, yeah, it's hard. Like I've heard it's really hard. So there's also news. This is very important, I think. Is uh, it? Distance check API change potentially coming next year in WoW Classic. So it says... Heard. Won't no be coming to WoW Classic or Wrath Classic at this time, but might potentially be included next year in future updates. Yeah. I have absolutely no idea what that means. I even read it and said, oh, well, screw it. Doesn't matter. Yeah. We've said, uh, we've said it loud what it is. And if you're interested in this, the Murloc Edition Lumbar Pillow now available. I read that as Lumber Pillow, and I was like, what the heck does that mean? <laughs> it protects I your back. Like a pillows. chair? Those lumbar pillows, the ones that go at your lower back, I find those extremely uncomfortable. I don't know how that's helpful for anybody. Do you find them comfortable? No. I slouch, so... Oh, so you say you want that chair? Yeah. I do need a new chair. My chair, actually, sitting in my chair for too long, as it is, actually kind of hurts. And like, I just wanted to point out... Oh, sorry, I thought you were done. I'm just leaning back and forth because my chair is kind of broken a little bit. Super uncomfortable. I think it's bad for my back and legs. So what? Uh, and if you're interested, folks, uh, Costco is currently selling the Atari 2600. Yeah, we already talked about that. That was during a video that may or may not have been recording. And I'm going to talk about oh. it again because it's the Atari 2600. Are they selling computer chairs? Yes. Aren't they usually? Yes. Good price? <sighs> Sorry, repeat. Good price? Yes. Apples to apples, they're a good price. I'm sure you can find a cheaper chair somewhere, but it will be a cheaper chair. It will be a different type so of how Apple. much? I don't know. You go anywhere from 100 to 400. What section is it in? Uh, the chair section. 
there's a chair section. Yes. Can you sit on them. Yes. That's the whole point of a chair. Yeah. Before you buy like it. Like sample. You want to sample. You, I want to sample it. Yes. We can go to JISC and sample their chairs. Can yes. Can you a picture in Costco where there would be chairs to sit on? It's on the whole, you know, the side of the store that doesn't have any food that we never go to? Yeah. That side. Yeah. So if you've ever been I to. I still look like, down them. Do you though? Is, They're not like sitting would, out in the aisle. Why would you look down on somebody? Oh, I look down on a lot of people. Yeah. No, there's chairs there. And the chairs we sell, we have them built. So you can go and sit in them. Um, oh, and the fold-up chairs are actually on sale this week, which might have actually ended when they closed today at 5 o'clock, so I don't know. I wanted to get one actually from my puzzle table, and I forgot, but they're fourteen ninety nine. Hmm. We don't Costco need any not, chairs. We have Costco did not chairs. sponsor this, by the way. No. Go get a computer chair. Go get a computer uh, chair? I need to Also, I need do to they buy, sell c- computers? What? Yes. They do sell computers. I want to be rich because I need a new computer, and I need a new computer chair. And I want a new house and a new vehicle as well. Well, in the next five years. I want a lot of things. I want a lot of things. Oh, you can be the front man in the business I'm not allowed to run. (laughs) But that'll, that'll be, that'll be upfront cost with maybe potential to make money in the future. I just want money. I want like a big chunk of money now. I want somebody to give me like $500,000. Uh, sugar daddy that would solve yeah that would solve several of my problems i'll be your sugar daddy Daddy. that's weird if i thought you had five hundred thousand dollars to give me i would take you up you know what that entails (laughs) you definitely would be not much there's not much i wouldn't do for like a million bucks if i had it's funny you put it that way you definitely would be taking me up yeah exactly for a million dollars what did i just get myself into for a million dollars. What am like I getting now? myself? What if am I getting myself? A million dollars? Yeah. Wouldn't you? Al though? You guys I are talking about you two. You guys are what? talking over all my good lines. Did you, did you say I'll stick with you two? No, I said I would expect you to. Oh. <laughs> you said I'll stick with you two. You bet if somebody wants it wants to do things to you for a million bucks, you better do it. Is that not cheating? Not no, for a million no. dollars, it's not. No, there's a movie about that. Is there? It's an indecent money, proposal. Money makes yeah. things like that go away. It doesn't matter when there's... Well, yeah, but that movie in the end makes it seem like it was all bad. Steak. Huh? What movie? Indecent Proposal. It's from the <laughs> 90s. You don't oh. know. He ended up buying a seal. <clears throat> a seal? I think so. I don't remember that. I guess he said folk. Like a live seal? Yeah, because French for seals, folk. Oh, not swearing. I see. But yeah, no, there's Hollywood movies tend to portray they'll like they'll put people in that situation where like clearly doing, you know, X, Y, Z for a ridiculous amount of money is the right thing to do. But they'll turn it into this whole moral thing where it's wrong and you shouldn't sacrifice your values for money for the money in this scenario that's going on in my head. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think I can do it then. Yeah. What does it what does it really matter? Would I like resent you? No, because we would have a million dollars. But a million dollars can go away mm-hmm. very fast. Yeah, but it's significantly more than we have right now. Yeah. Would like that would that's a like a that's a life changing amount of money still. It is. Okay. What could we not do? I mean, there's a lot of things we couldn't do with a million dollars, but like it's a lot of stuff we could do too. Like a we better might, setup. We, might, we could go to BlizzCon next year. We could buy new computers. We could take it all in cash and fill a room of the house with it and just go like swim in it and roll on it in the floor. Naked? If you want to. Maybe Paper like cuts. like wipe up first so you're all dry because you don't want it sticking to places. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you, but that much money would excite me. A I don't want to be ruining it with moisture. You're gross. Is that a good note to end this on? I was going to be like, that's outrageous. Hmm. I'm still trying to find out if he bought a seal. If he bought it, you think he actually bought a seal? I don't remember someone buying a seal in that movie. I feel like he did. A hippo. It was a hippo. A hippo. A house hippo? hippo? 
Yes. I don't think house hippos exist. Commercial they safety. Do. I, they do. I've seen I've seen their peanut butter tracks. Yes, yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that commercial onto this video, by the way. Commercials also say that Coke that's only a Canadian Pepsi, thing, isn't it? Yes, it's a Canadian thing. Yeah. The house hippo. So yeah. the Americans listening to it no being one has like, any what idea does what that mean? They're like, what are they talking about and why isn't it wow? Yeah. Yeah. We always walk uphill both ways to school in the snow barefoot. We uh, we always have snow. We live in igloos and we have the house hippo. Yes. You don't live in an igloo? Yes. I built my bricks are made out of comics. Okay. Yes. It snowed today. It did, and I got my winter tires on. Anyways. We Anyways, should probably we're tired, end we're this. tired and hungry. To go to I'm bed, not hungry. So. You keep that tired. weird. <laughs> oh. Hold on, hold on. Go for I it. I tried. I tried. That's outrageous. Every time. You sound so enthused, Sam. <laughs>